Hello, my beautiful Sagittarius. Welcome to your daily guidance reading. This reading is going to be for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for February 1st, 2023. You know how the drill goes. If it aligns, take it. If it does not, leave it behind. Feel free to check your Moon, Rising, Venus signs. All additional information for me can be found in the description box. And otherwise, let's get into your reading. All right, my beautiful Sagittarius, you are getting a spirit guide message of stand your ground. Standing your ground is an empowering, confidence-building action to take from time to time. Now is the moment when you need to stand your ground. You know you can do it, and you know that by doing so, you will be the victor. So what this tells me is, Sagittarius, there is going to be a test of your boundaries uh, today. And today you're going to really need more so than any other time. To really stand firm on your convictions, your more your morals, your values, your wants, your dreams, your aspirations. This is not a time to bend to somebody else's will. This is a day to really stick to your 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 boundaries. Definitely stick to your boundaries and stand your ground. So let's see what else is coming through from you for the wisdom of the oracle. Spirit guides, angels, ancestors, let's take a look at Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What do they need to know for their highest vibration and highest good? Best messages, advice, and guidance, please, for Sagittarius. What is your best message for their highest vibration and highest good? <clears throat> Sagittarius, what is your message? Thank you. All right, guys, you guys are getting the message. Change in the wind. So this tells me that a new direction, a new path is opening up to you. There's changes, transformation, energy, manifestation possible. So this is kind of going in a direction that maybe you originally did not see. And this is going to be, you know, available to you because you're sticking to your guns here. You're sticking to your, uh, your, yourself. You're, you're really, really enforcing that. Uh, energy, but do definitely have a big change or changes uh, coming, new directions, new paths, new abilities opening up to you, new opportunities as well. Let's take a look and see what's going on in the area of love and romance and get a feel for my beautiful Sagittarius. What's going on for Sagittarius when it comes to love and romance, please, for February 1st, 2023. What do they need to know for the highest vibration? And highest good. That's message, advice, and guidance, please. Thank you. All right, so we got forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. So today is going to be a day of, you know, reflection, review, learning forgiveness inside of you and maybe for the other person. And this doesn't have to be directly related to a or partner or past partner. This can be, you know, like an overview. I'm hearing overview shot of, you know, how you love and what's affected your love relationship. So this can even go as far back for some of you as your parents and your childhood. But this is kind of releasing uh, energy that's no longer serving you for your highest good so that you can embrace this change coming in. So some of you may have unresolved issues coming up that need to be you know, dealt with at this time. Let's get additional. Let's get one more. One more message when it comes to love and romance for Sagittarius. Okay, we'll take two. All right, yeah. So this is going to be for a lot of you surrounding deception. Uh, somebody that was not true that maybe wore a mask that came off later on in the relationship. But I'm getting someone is wearing a false mask in this relationship. So this may be something that you're, you know, you're just learning or you maybe will be seeing today and you're going to stand your ground against it and you're going to be able to take a change to the situation. Um, this is a, also getting heart to heart conversations, honestly discuss your feelings with each other. So this is going to be, I'm going to kind of hit all the earmarks here for my Sagittarius when it comes to this card. So heart to heart is being honest, being truthful. It is even, you know, whether you are in a early stages of a connection, in a, a relationship, married, engaged, living together, you know, it's it going to kind of really suit all the way across. If you're just meeting somebody, this can be taking the time to really 
open up and get to know them to really dive deep to, to take things slow be patient this is not a time to rush head in long into anything if you are you know in a relationship with someone no whether it's just the beginning stages or you've been in it for a while heart to heart conversations is really really of taking and having the hard conversations so if your guys are facing anything that has been you know bothering you that has been chipping away at you have been aggravating you it's better to really sit down and open up and have a truthful communication you know rock that boat because so Sagittarius a lot of people get afraid of rocking that boat especially in the beginning of a relationship when someone's doing something that does not align with them does not make them feel good and this is about standing your ground on those boundaries so someone's like really dancing on that nerve and dancing on those boundaries this is definitely a conversation that you need to have about this really open up be honest be straightforward rock that boat if you need to um, because that is going to be really the catalyst of change here all right guys let's go ahead and jump into it let's dive into the tarot and see what messages are coming through for you guys at this time all right spirit guys what do we have for my beautiful sagittarius what is your opening message what is your opening message best message advice and guidance thank you all right so we have the five of wands coming through leo energy we have competition arguing chaos misunderstandings opposition temper and lost opportunity all right so you guys got a lot going on at this time um some of you this could be with a leo <laughs> for others of you this is really you know You've got some personality calm flashes. Some of you got too many cooks in the kitchen that is interfering and creating, um, you know, chaos and confusion. Some of you maybe feel like you're losing out on something or something is being taken from you. There's could be, you know, I'm getting tempers are flared. Things, stakes are high for some of you. Though This can deal with any aspect of your life from career to finance to um, family, uh, relationships, personal, uh, romantic partnerships and friendships as well but there's definitely this energy of like um i'm getting into rams locking horns here so there is this like bullheaded energy coming in that i'm picking up on for some of my sagittarius is out there so i feel like you guys are really going to need to stand your ground because i feel like the opposition is really pushing hard against you at this time so let's see kind of what advice is going to go with that what other messages do you have for my Sagittarius at this time nine of coins okay rewards for your labor so this tells me with a nine of coins coming in um, with this this is going to be I believe Virgo energy here but what I am getting 100% here is Sagittarius you have the ability to manifest right um your your true desires you are a powerful individual with a sign of coins right this is knowing that you are in the place that you need to be in that you can have the ability to do things on your own and take care of yourself you don't need another person to do that so this is you know the advice here is to stand in your energy really embrace yourself your strengths um know that you're you're enough know that you have the power and the freedom to fulfill your own needs and to go the distance and to get accomplish anything here so really what they're wanting you to do right is to stand your ground and embrace your energy like really embrace who you are step into that personal power here i uh, love that what additional messages do we have for Sagittarius additional messages please all right so we got temperance Sagittarian your own energy coming into this reading so shout out there so we have balance temper harmony inner peace moderation tranquility patience and purpose so what this tells me is that you are perfecting the balance. So to becoming one in the sense where you're balancing out that inner that inner peace with the outer conflict. You know, this is going to be a time where you're going to want to really indulge in moderation. 
So that's a moderation all the way across the board. So this is not a time for excess of anything. So make sure everything is kind of yin and yang. Um, be patient. Be purposeful in your actions at this time. So meaning don't do anything that's reckless or impulsive. Be purposeful. Set your mind to what it is that you want to do and then do it. Um, make sure that your temper. Um, you know, especially in this difficult situation is balanced out with love and peace and know that you have the ability to step into your true power here and, and with, by doing so, you will bring, uh, yourself into balance. I love it. What additional information do we have for my beautiful Sagittarius? All right. So we have cancer energy coming in <clears throat> with the four of cups. So... <clears throat> So this is kind of my my warning card, right? Because what they're talking about when it comes to to balance is there's going to be this this moment where you guys are going to be feeling reluctant, maybe even weary, tired, feeling a bit unmotivated throughout the day, maybe feeling like you guys are going to miss an opportunity or miss something if you stand your ground. Um, but this is. Um, a reminder to balance out that energy know that it's not as it seems that you have the ability to to really uh, create change a catalyst of change by owning yourself standing your ground perfecting that bringing yourself into balance here don't don't get caught up in that four of a cups energy as it moves through the day acknowledge it and let it pass through you uh, don't sit don't just don't sit in that energy very long all right. Wow, guys. We have your final messages coming in. And man, this was really quick, too. Um, you have the Seven of Cups, which is meaning many possibilities available to you. So this is really going to, when I, when I say, when I say create, you know, catalyst of change, it's going to open up a lot of possibilities, a lot of choices, a lot of decisions, a lot of action. Um, there's going to be a little bit of confusion, right? With the Seven of Cups, you're nearly going to need to focus here because this is all going to happen very swiftly, very quickly um, within this day. So this like opportunity will open up. There will be many opportunities, many directions, many paths because you're standing your balance. This is going to happen very, very quickly. This is where things are going to really uh, move forward. They're going to take off. Uh, Sagittarian energy there. Scorpio energy here. And then what's what's coupling this? I love this. We have the Ace of Swords and the Ace of Wands. So this is Air Energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We have Fire Energy, Virgo, or excuse me, Taurus. I know what the I do know what the fire signs are: Sagittarius, Leo, and um, my beautiful uh, Aries. So what I am getting here is you guys are going to have clarity. You're going to see things exactly as they are. So where you have that pause, right? That moment of uncertainty, of confusion, too many choices. You're going to really have a quick epiphany. Things are really going to come together really quick. You're going to so focus, focus that energy. Um, you're going to see the truth, be honest, and, and, and make a decisive decision. Because it's really going to open up this energy of passion and new ideas and, and a desire to really go for it. Uh, so a new passionate start out of clarity from the possibilities that's going to come this is all going to happen very very swift and very very quick for you all right guys i think that pretty much sums up your reading i hope this gave you clarity namaste bye for now